MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. interesting parts in here um, the business is obviously very successful can you tell us about your company uh, Walker AC uh, we've been going for best part of 40 years in fact we actually celebrated our 40th anniversary on Friday which is good news um, we've gone from manufacturing quite simple commercial parts in fact in the early days of the business we were making pie molds uh, which sounds a bit strange um, and we evolved into a company that now supplies uh, complex components, assemblies and sub-assemblies for landing gear, actuation and the hydraulic units on uh, a number of aircraft. And is that for the UK or is that export? 80% of that is for export. Okay, and business as we sit here today, is it good? Is it flourishing? Business is good. We've probably got one of the largest uh, order books that uh, we've ever had. And you mentioned to me about acquisitions. You're involved in acquiring other businesses as well as that's happened recently? Yes, uh, last March, well, uh, March 2013, we acquired a, a local company called QA Precision Engineering Limited. Okay, so when we're looking at these components, they've obviously got to be machined and, and manufacturing has to be done. You buy a lot of your machines from Ward High Tech. Can you tell us a little bit about the installations that you have here? Uh, we tend to deal with Ward High Tech um, because the machines that uh, they, uh, they, they sell uh, provide the ideal solution for what we're, uh, we're doing. Um, it isn't just about the machine itself, it's about uh, the total package, the finance, uh, the tooling up for jobs, for us to actually go to them with specific jobs and say, look, we want to do this job on one of your machines, how do you think we should go about it? Um, so generally speaking, when we buy a machine, we make sure it comes in with all the tools to do some of the existing work we already do. So the machines from Ward High Tech, what brands are they that you have here? Uh, the Dali Machining Centres and the Watch-On CNC Lathes. And in terms of disciplines then, that's milling and turning. What's the yeah. split for you here as a business? To do more turning than milling or...? Surprisingly, we tend to do a little bit more milling these days. So and we, we look at the machines and we talk about the machines and you've, you've mentioned the fact that they're good quality machines and they last. It goes beyond that though, doesn't it? I mean, it's about the service, the support and from a commercial perspective when you're buying it, it's got to suit your business. Yeah, it certainly has. Um, as I said, it's, it's the financial package. Um, so that, um, Wood High Tech will actually tailor a package to suit what we need. Um, often it's not just about buying one machine, it's about buying several machines. Um, it's about um, the installation, the training of the guys, and to also make sure we've got compatibility between one machine and another. And has your relationship over the years grown with Ward High Tech? You've obviously gone back to, to them for more machinery. It's certainly, it certainly has. We've got a very good relationship with Ward High Tech. 2015 is almost upon us. What, what's your plans for the year ahead? Um, well, the first thing is we're hoping to take on another unit on the estate. Uh, move some of the larger machines, particularly the Huachans, uh, because of space restrictions here. And no doubt add maybe another two, maybe even three machines, which hopefully we'll buy from World High Tech. So Christian, you head up manufacturing here and I've heard that you push these machines to their limit. How do they respond? Very good machines, very accurate. Everything that we throw at them, they seem to be straight away. Very, very accurate. Very and you use them not just for the aluminium components that I've seen here, but for difficult materials as well? All, all sorts of aerospace material, aluminium, steels, titanium, do the lot. And in terms of shift patterns, do you one, run one shift or are you double shifting? Uh, no, just one shift, six till six. And it's not just Dali, a watch on as well, equally as good? Yeah, the watch on lays, very good machines. So, Phil, this is some drill we've got here on this watch on machine. Can you tell us a bit about it? 
yeah, basically it's a summit injector drill. It's used for producing very accurate holes in a very deep component. As you can see, we've got on the setup here with the undercarriage leg, we're producing a hole that goes all the way through at a very high speed and to an accuracy of about 0.25 millimeter. And how does how do you maintain that accuracy? I mean, what, how does it? Is it to do with the machine or the boring bar or the drill itself? It's a combination of, 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 all, of, uh, of the, uh, the machine and the boring bar. We've got a very substantial, steady, a good turret, very high coolant feed which actually clears the swar back through the boring bar so you don't get any push off with, uh, as you're boring the hole. And you mentioned tolerance. Is there a tolerance that you're actually working to? We're working to 0.25 mm on this because this is the rocking stage at this moment. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.